Doesn't this baby toad look like a cute little dinosaur? Oh yeah, but they get huge and ugly. If you live in Australia or Florida or any part of the world that has an invasive cane toad problem, you may be wondering how to keep them out of your garden or backyard. You can stop cane toads from entering your backyard by putting up tight, smooth, solid fence around your yard that is at least 20 inches or 50 centimeters above and below the ground. Having a high and deep fence is key because cane toads cannot climb 20 inches and should not dig further than 10 inches. Also get rid of anything that attracts cane toads in your backyard, including pet food, compost, and garbage. Remove any standing water, pet water bowls, and ponds since toads need water to survive and look for these kinds of things where they're in suburban areas. Cane toads are active at night and search for lights where bugs and moths are present. So also turn off any lights, candles, and luminescent insect traps that are not in use and could attract toads. Remove anything in your garden that could shelter cane toads, including small rock structures, piles of leaves, shrubs, logs, fallen branches, and tall grass. Just cut that grass. Be sure to not leave any clutter lying around, especially man-made items that can retain moisture underneath them. That's because toads like to burrow under these kinds of things. For example, avoid leaving out any pool toys, tarpaulins, bags of leaves, kids' toys, and unnecessary structures. Place potted plants on concrete instead of on grass since toads can burrow under them. If none of the above solutions work for you, you could have a professional deal with the problem, but avoid killing them yourself. First of all, it's not nice. But secondly, you could be fined in certain places for killing them if you do not follow strict procedures and local laws. And killing the wrong species of toad can get you in trouble. Introducing cane toads to Australia and Florida in the 1930s was seen as a great way to reduce the number of beetles that ate sugarcane crops. This backfired because cane toads do not climb very well and did not effectively reach the insects that they were put there to kill. Instead, they decided to feed on almost everything else in their path, killing off native species along the way. Cane toads are poisonous to humans and carry enough venom to kill a small child if their poison enters the bloodstream. It's very important to wash your hands and avoid touching your eyes and mouth after contact with a cane toad. Avoid touching them altogether if possible and keep your pets away from them since they can be fatal if ingested. If you'd like to learn more about cane toads and how to keep them out of your garden, definitely check out the article in the description below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. This channel is all about frogs and toads.